now you're saying you've got this as kind of that traditional neighborhood design look, and you're willing to do two-story with the gingerbread and things like that, we'll look at higher density. But we got we got to come up with a way. I mean, we're not I mean, we can't continue to do something the same way and expect a different result because we're not getting higher income home buyers in the market. And it's because we don't have quality homes. Well, you know, that's a ambiguous term, but, but it was a part of the discussion that was on with that. Well, but, but we, we got it. Unless, unless we as a city say, we don't want to have better restaurants, better retail. We don't want to fill our shopping centers back up. We want to leave them empty, dark. I mean, I mean, look at Poplar Place. I mean, look at the mall. I mean, you know, the, the shopping center besides the old Harris Teeter shopping center. I mean, these places have gone dark because there's not people here that can generate them enough income to stay up. And so, you know, that's the way it's going to be. It's going to continue to hit that direction unless we're willing to step up to the plate and say, look, guys, we're willing to offer incentives whatever they may be, to attract a higher income professional. You know, they're going to be working in Charlotte more than likely, but to the bypass, you know, we can't say we don't have an interest anymore because we do. Well, what do y'all think about something like this? This is kind of plays on our southern roots. You know, when you think about Charlotte, that's the Saucy Road. circular conversation. We're not going to get the stuff you want until we have more retail and more amenities. We're not going to get that until we have more rooftops. So the way we get more rooftops is we've got to approve the, the crappy little subdivisions that we don't really want. Then the amenities will come. Then the bigger home builders are going to come because there's more amenities. We 
Let me say this. I, 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 did, land. I, I work not. I work a good bit with Chris, Chris Matthews, and, and he had a philosophy because he did. He did a lot of an Indian trail. I mean, there's there are different subdivisions he put in, but one of his main overall themes were that that he tried to do them attractively done on an exterior. The amenities that would attract a higher income user would be that they would offer them granite countertops, you know, uh, what do you call it, different types of raised panel, paneling it, you know, hardwood floors. The, the interiors, he didn't discriminate, but the subdivision looked good. I mean, you walk down the street, you would never know that this person's income was this and this person's income was that because they all thought the neighborhood looked great and they lived within their means. But these people decided they wanted hardwood floors, you know, uh, tile in the kitchen bathrooms, and granite countertops all throughout the place. Well, Y'all ain't tell what they put in most of these houses they built around town. That's what I see. I see. You, you say they're not putting tile in bathrooms? No, no, no. <laughs> you said, you said it, they're having tile in bathrooms and hardwood floors. They put it in the same house they built in the road. Well, Hey, I'm just using those in the example. Oh, okay. so that's countertop. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me bring this back to a little different discussion. So, going back to one of Lisa's comments about density, gross density, this project right here, which is bounded by center, by river, along that property line, and that property line minus the cemetery, I guess that's actually the cemetery. What do you guess that dense, overall density is? On that property. It's high. Who thinks it's two or less than one units per acre? Two or less? I don't know. No. Yeah. Who says it's between two and five? 3.9. Well, I'd go to that. Who says it's higher than five? Ready? 1.9 so houses per acre. If you take away the open space, the green space, which there, is what we've been doing in planning board. 30% 30, 30 open space plus your storm wire and everything else, 4.9 million per acre. Yeah. That's actually when it's built out, 2,000, a little over 2,000 homes. Um, over, uh, it's about 1,200 acres.
that's to deal with what we do now.